We're Ellie and Luke. Three years ago, we bought an abandoned homestead in North Idaho with the simple goal of transforming it into a self-sufficient getaway. After two years of preparing the land, we're finally ready to start our biggest project yet, our off-grid tiny home. Follow along as we experience the trials and tribulations of building completely off the grid and by ourselves. The North Idaho nomads are finally settling down and we can't wait to share this adventure with you. We're back from a short break from social media. Our last video was released on December 28th, showing our completion of the fascia of our tiny home. In today's video, we're going to wrap the cabin and get it as prepared for winter as we can. We're still working through our backlog of videos, so this footage was shot in the late fall. We're back. Um, so today's video was supposed to be about us putting on the metal roofing. However, when we woke up this morning, we we realized it's Sunday, so everything's closed. And two, Lowe's and Home Depot don't really carry a great selection of roofing material. It's pretty poor, actually. We couldn't find what we wanted. So instead of putting on the metal roof in this video, we're gonna be wrapping the entire exterior of the tiny home with Tyvek. And then hopefully in the next video, we will start in on the roof. So Luke's already started. He's got the, what do you call it? Spray foam? Yeah. He's got the cans of spray foam, so we're going around and just patching every little nook and cranny um, before we wrap it with the Tyvek. So before we can start, ow! Man, these thistles are sharp. Before we can start wrapping the Tyvek, we have to plug basically all the gaps and nooks and crannies. So that is what Luke is doing there right now. hard to set the tripod up because we keep moving so much when we're working on this product, this part. So this is kind of a long, boring, slow process where you have to move the scaffolding like two feet, Luke climbs up, patches all the holes. We move the scaffolding another two feet, Luke climbs up, patches all the holes. And I think we're both getting very tired of heights. This is what we're using today. Fill all the gaps and cracks. Safety is our middle name. So we got all the gaps filled in with the spray foam. So now Luke's going around and making sure all of the corners are flush square and using the router to even them out if like one board's sticking out a little further. And looks like he's working on the fourth one over there. Yeah, coming along. Good. Ah! 
Okay. Got it? I think so. I don't know if it's just this year is a bad year or maybe it's always like that out here. We This is the most time we've ever spent on the property this time of year. The sting bugs are so bad. I'm not normally one to kill every bug I come across, but they are kind of gross. I think I showed in the last video how many are in the cabin. So we're gonna have to figure that out at some point because there are so many in there. And the last thing we want is to be like, you know, working on the interior of the tiny home. Oh, I can hear them all on the tarp. Once there's no place for them to hide. Oh, I can hear them crawling around the tarp. Yeah. I put it out just to be funny. Do you ever think we'd be the type to just film ourselves <laughs> cocking a cabin? No, not a cabin. <laughs> Get out of here, you fucker. <laughs> Ew! We are on the... Ah! They're everywhere! We're not keeping this for anything, are we? Nope. Probably dump this. <sighs> oh, are you ready to wrap this? So it has to be one piece. It has to be, but... It's supposed to be one piece, in theory. Well, it's only nine feet, so it'll have to go. Might do, be able to get the back all in one. I think it's only eight. But we'll have to do two up there, because that is more than eight feet. I know, but they probably, you're probably not supposed to like cut it, like have one piece on each side. You probably are supposed to wrap yeah, it as yeah. long as you can. Oh, okay. It's ideal, but not always possible. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. All right. Well, got every nook and cranny filled in. And next we're gonna wrap the tiny home with the Tyvek. After we take a quick breaky break. Yeah. Oh. All right, so we procrastinated this as long as we can. Because it's probably not gonna be easy. But Luke's pulling the makeshift stairs he made off and then hopefully we'll get to start wrapping. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually pretty good. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be such a big blood blister. Oh no, those are the worst. I cannot believe we were climbing in and out of that well, as much as we were. Yeah. Usually did on the low side. Yeah, that's true. All right, so we're gonna get started, but I think this whole segment's about to be filmed on the GoPro because it's a two-person job, 
and I won't be able to change and camera angles. It doesn't go flawlessly. We're going home. <laughs> and we're off to a great start. Fuck. Seriously? Yay! Oh, this is gonna take a while. All right, we're gonna try this. Yeah. Quit and go home and eat bagel dogs. Yeah! Okay, which side are we doing first, the door? Let's start in the back because it's the shortest. That is row one, done. All things considered, I think we did pretty good. Kinda. Here's where Luke had to cut in to grab a tool. And we kinda had a boo-boo on this end. We ended up a wee bit, oops, there we go. Let's see if it'll focus. A wee bit lower than how we started, but that's okay. So now, we need to figure out how to do the second layer, which is up here. How are we gonna do the second layer? <laughs> I just do it in groups. So. Oh boy. <laughs> if we were worried about this being bright from the road before, definitely sticks out now. Grab the GoPro. So what do these do? Well, these are what you're supposed to use. Oh. But staples are easier and quicker to get it up. So that's what we used. Welcome to our cabin, everyone. <laughs> I think it would be easier if we just cut, cut it. No, oh, wait, that wouldn't work. Not exactly sure how many you're supposed to use. So we got one full wrap around done, and then Luke went through and put all the fancy schmancy nails in, and we're tired. Yeah. So that's where this this segment's gonna end and pick back up when we finish the uppers. Yeah, when I finish the uppers. Exactly. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna pack it up. Pack it up. Pack it up. No, he's limping.
that little one. And we're back. All right, winter's here. It's about 40 degrees. Snow's around the corner. In fact, we already got a little couple flurries the other day. I've got no roof on. I've got the building half wrapped. Well, a little more than half. I'm not ready, but it's here and there's nothing we can do about it. So today, I'm gonna attempt to get the rest of this wrapping on sheeting the rest of this house wrap on and by myself because Ellie is at work today but I do not have time I don't want to leave this OSB out in the elements all winter so that's the plan it's the only goal for today the roof probably off the table for this year unless by the grace of God we get some sort of break in the weather we shall see um, so yeah, it's going to be the plan for today. It may not be possible because it's pretty tall up towards the top. It's, I don't know, I think it's a nine foot roll. Uh, yeah, so let's get after it, see what we can do. Worst case scenario, wait for Ellie to come down. I don't know. We'll see. Oh boy, I don't know if this is going to work. It's not pretty, but it seems to be working. Let's just keep going. Happy New Year, everyone! Like I said in the intro, Luke and I kind of took an unplanned break from editing and posting on YouTube through most of January. I don't know about you, but I've always felt like January is the most boring and blah month. It's dark, cold, everyone's broke, 
from the past holiday and we're all feeling like crap because we've been eating nothing but sugar and carbs for the past month. I've never really been a big new year, new me kind of person. So honestly, I become kind of a hermit in January. Both Luke and I both become just shut-ins. <laughs> but now that the month is almost over, we're slowly but surely gaining more daylight. I feel both of us starting to have more energy and we're ready to finish up our bank of videos from the fall. We probably have about three more videos before we're all caught up, which brings me to a question I have for the audience. Would you rather us continue to post these videos once a week, drag out the progress, or would you rather us just finish them all and upload them all in one week, for example? Uh, do you have a preference? Let us know in the comments if you do. And so, of course, once those videos are completed, we're gonna fall into our usual issue of what kind of video do we create? We've recently received a lot of snow in the Pacific Northwest, especially in North Idaho. So if we couldn't make it to the property before, we definitely can't do it now. Honestly, it's probably gonna be at least a month or two before we can get a truck down that road to the property. We can walk in right now, but it's kind of miserable if I'm being totally honest. So I think we're gonna have to get creative and we do have a couple ideas. They're definitely gonna be different from what you normally see from us. But again, if you have any ideas or if there's something you really wanna see, something you wanna know, uh, just let us know in the comments. We've never done a Q and A, so maybe it's time we do something like that. But yeah, in this video, we just, Luke finally got the tie back up and I jokingly said we should just leave it up. You know, that's the Alaskan siding right there. So it's a big step. Essentially, after we got this Tyvek up the roof, so the cabin is most likely gonna look just like this throughout the rest of winter and into spring until we can get up there and continue working on more projects. All right. Close. Just gonna trim off the excess and throw some nails in her. Thanks for letting us take that little break. It was really good just to not have to worry about editing. Editing is really hard for me. Appreciate you watching. Let us know what you think in the comments and we'll see you in the next one.